I'm a structural engineer and it's my job to use maths and physics to make sure that our buildings and bridges stand up. I'm standing in front of the Shard, which is the tallest building in Western Europe, and I spent six years of my career on it. So this building is a part of me. So New York is actually brilliant for skyscrapers because you come in, you put the skyscraper on the rock yeah. and the rock is very strong and the loads just go straight down into it. In London, we need to do a bit more kind of gymnastics around the soil yeah. to try and make sure that our loads are going down where it should be. So this is um, an Aztec pyramid, of course. It's yeah. pink, mm. it's glittery. <laughs> and then the Spanish um, colonists came in and basically filled the lake in with sand and mud, like on top of the Aztec structures. Okay? So it's totally disappeared. So that's gone. But yeah. you can see that the sand is quite soft. It's in a lake. It's, you know, very, very wet. And then they came in and put this huge cathedral on top. And this Jelly Baby Bridge is great to show you this wonderful sort of wave motion that you can get in a bridge that we call the torsional mode of resonance. You might think I'm a little bit weird for saying this, but I actually see London's sewage system as being a great example of a mass inclusive project. Because after all, this piece of infrastructure was designed to serve all of us. In this series, I will take you on a journey through geography, science and time, so we can learn more about our structures. You'll never see your world in the same way again.